Um, I'm not going to go through what you get with your snail six van. You get these blinds, I suppose you call them, they stick on the windows at the front. So, block the sun from the front. The bed, so the middle bit comes down, I think I've shown that before. You get the sheets, which is a bit mm, questionable. Now I'm six foot one ish <coughs> and I can fit in <coughs> this side up to here but you can see that if you two people are with you you will struggle to both get in so uh, you might be a bit of a tight squeeze now you get a uh, screen to put on the signed window with velcro uh, now in my case, because I'm on my own, I've got a pillow, blanket, a duvet, and even though it's June, I do need it, need it, and a Coleman, where's the name gone, a Coleman sleeping bag. Go around the back. So this, this is the fixed one with the... Uh, Tidy space. These are the bags that all the bedding come in, and a table which is about mm, yay high. Uh, that's my washing line. Ignore that. Um, overall, in terms of comfort for my aching body, I haven't had a problem with this. You can see, it's about it's like four inches. Um, so I found it quite comfortable, to be honest. Issue. Now it's 20, what was it, 21st of June, midsummer. It's been uh, about two degrees uh, overnight, and this van does not hold heat inside. So, even though you've got a heater, let me show you that actually. Uh, what's the exit point? The entrance point. And you've got an electronic dial. How do you can see that up here? That turns it on. So that works after about five minutes and does does not spit out some heat. So it's very effective. The problem is is that once you turn it off and it's very noisy. See, so not really. I don't know whether it's practical to run it overnight, apart from the fact it drains the battery. But um, the heat just disappears. So. 15 minutes after you've filled the cabin with heat um, it's freezing again the sleeping bag is very warm though so that's not a problem so that's what's going on for this particular short clip uh, I'll probably give a summary of the bus uh, nearer when I finish so I'm seven days in um, and it's hard work living out of a camper van